How's it going guys? I'm Connor from Running Warehouse. I'm here with John, newest member of the Running Warehouse test team. Today we are going to be taking a first look at the new Hoka Cielo Road. Now Hoka's came out with some pretty nice additions this year, really with that Rocket X2 introducing that new Peebo base foam. Now we're seeing some of that same technology trickle on over into a little bit lighter, stripped down, maybe 5k, 10k racer. Yeah, I'm coming from the marathon racing world, so uh, I handle shoes that have a little bit higher stack, but on speed days and workout days, I tend to go for something a little more nimble like this. So I'm definitely anxious to get these on feet and onto the track. Yeah, and you know, really what's gonna give that fast, efficient feel, we saw it in the Rocket X2, it's gonna be that new Piba base midsole. And there's gonna be a couple differences with this shoe versus Rocket X2. One is gonna be the stack height going to be about 31 millimeters, so definitely closer to the ground, a little bit more nimble. And number two is going to be, there's no plate embedded in this shoe. We see carbon fiber plates, we've seen P-back shanks, but this shoe is going to have nothing embedded inside it. You're really going to feel that foam. And uh, I think that's not only going to keep weight down, but going to create a really nice, bouncy and flexible experience. Yeah, we seem to have been conditioned to expect something like a plate or energy rods or shank, uh, but it's also great to see when the foams are really highlighted. Uh, something like a streak fly, the Zoom X foam is incredible. So I'm really excited to see how this is gonna perform next to something like that that has a shank. Yeah, now moving on down to the outsole, not too much to talk about here. We've got some of that rubber in the forefoot and in the heel, got that exposed Piba base midsole in the midfoot to help keep weight down. Really not too much different than what we see with most super shoes today. Yeah, kind of what you would expect to see out of a racer. Uh, minimal strategic placing of the rubber and weight is the most important thing to keep down. So that's clearly what we have here. Yeah, and when we look at the net base of this shoe, it is gonna be a little bit more narrow than some of the other super shoes on the market. When you build a shoe stack height up higher, you also have to build that net base out. So with a slightly closer to ground feel, Hoka was able to taper in that net base. And I think, again, that's gonna help with that nimbleness when you're making sharp turns. It's just gonna feel nice, snug, and secure on your foot. Yeah, sometimes during the marathon, you can get a little tired and so, Turning those corners is a little bit more difficult. The shoe might be a little too much. So when you're talking about something shorter, like a 5K or a 10K, definitely gonna want something more nimble. Yeah, and part of what also creates that nimble and really stripped down feel is gonna be the upper. There is basically nothing to this upper. It almost reminds me of a track spike. When you put your hand inside it, it's pretty much translucent. See right through it, very breathable. And getting the shoe on foot, it's snug, it's narrow, it's gonna be that true spike race day fit. Yeah, it looks like it has everything you're gonna want in a fast shoe. It just looks like a spike, like you said. It looks fast, it's lightweight, and it's gonna be able to get you to that next level in a 5K or 10K distance. Yeah, even when we look at shoes like the Rocket X2 that are built for the marathon, there's light, but there's going to be a little bit of structure to the upper. This shoe, I mean, there's nothing in the heel. This shoe kept weight at an absolute minimum, and it's going to be perfect for that PR. Like we've already said, shorter distances, 5K, 10K, you could probably take it up to a half marathon if you're an efficient runner, but I think most people are going to lean a little bit more in shorter distances or workouts. Yeah, for me, uh, someone who does more marathon training, it's probably going to fit in the rotation of a speed day but I have been more intentional about trying to do shorter distances, and this looks like a fun shoe to get on foot for a 5K. Yeah, you know, it's great to see Hoka continue to innovate throughout their lines, and really specifically in the race shoes. That's what gets me excited. And now with the Cielo Road, we've got a true stripped down racer that's gonna compete with the best. If you're looking to get this shoe on your feet, try it out for yourself. You can find it in 2023 here at Running Warehouse.